use their influence to silence hey! dissenting voices. You don't want to fight these guys. Found your business card at the scene of an accident. This wasn't an accident. Kristen, thank you so much for speaking with me. Congratulations on the new season, The Burden of Truth. Um, I got to ask you right off the top before we get into the series, how have you been? How have you been dealing with 2020? And of course, if you want to call it explosive 2021, the, only the first uh, two, two and a half weeks, how were you able to handle not just uh, what was going on in the world with COVID-19, but so many other things going on in the world from Black Lives Matter to Karen's, Kevin's, mass, no mass, and of course, what's been going on in the U.S.? Gosh, that's a lot of a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm a very I'm very lucky. I have a home that I can live in and I feel safe in. I got to work on a show this year. Um, I I'm very I feel very very lucky. Um, obviously, I would love it if uh, if COVID were to be over uh, for everybody. I think it's been an incredibly challenging. Um, situation across the board. I mean, yeah, it's been, there's a lot of news that's happened. And I think that, I mean, there's a lot one could say about it, but I feel as though it's brought to the surface many underlying issues that, that have been around and and it's forcing us to address things, um, I mean, in the United States and also in Canada that, that have been living under the surface for a long time. You know, and it's funny that, and thank you for saying what you said, because watching um, the new episode of Burn of Truth uh, for the uh, new uh, season, you know, one of the things I thought to myself was, in some ways, I'm watching the show with different eyes now, uh, because of everything that happened in 2020, and looking at what's going on with this storyline, and one of the things, the, the word that came up to me most was intimidation. Do you agree or disagree with that, that... That's one of the big things in this uh, season? Yeah, I mean, yes. I think that in in this season of Burden of Truth, like every season, we're looking at power and dynamics Mm -hmm. of power, who holds power, how they wield it, and what the effects are of of that. Um, And so, I mean, Joanna speaks about the intimidation of the mining company in in the first episode of season four. And, And what she's speaking of is the way that they can kind of manipulate people based jo- on that power. And Joanna's looking at things differently too. Like she's a whole different person with this uh, in this season because she's looking at herself in different ways from, and I'd love to hear your comments on this from not just being a mother, but she looks at her past, her present and future in the job that she's held for such a long time. Yeah, I think you're very right. Uh, she's looking at, um, I mean, Joanna's changed a lot over the seasons, and she's become more and more of an advocate for people who are underdogs and, and who are sometimes the victims of a system that, that doesn't support them or, or see them as full and complete people we're fighting for. Um, and she, I mean... <laughs> She's changed, she's changed drastically and she sees herself differently and she does ultimately have to confront her past self and 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 kind of come to understand what it means to make amends for things you've done in the past, which is a very important, I think, discussion to have. I don't want to give too much away, but I've got to make mention about when she is confronted with her protege. I swore it was like Batman and the Joker. Um because you're looking at like uh, almost like two two entities that have walked the same path, but they're so different, but they understand each other in the good and worse ways. Yeah, I love that storyline because Joanna is seeing a part of herself. She helped to build the values that this other woman holds dear, and and now she's being you know kind of beaten by this incredible lawyer um, who follows the rules that past Joanna followed and no longer follows. Um, and I, and I love how that relationship kind of unfolds and you start to see that, which is an ongoing theme on our show, how Joanna was raised by her father affected how she brought up this woman. And there's like a healing process that has to be um, uh, undergone through throughout the season so that, um, so that this woman can kind of be freed of, of Joanna's tyranny. 
And, you know, as much as that, too, the other characters seem to be going through their own sort of uh, man in the mirror, if I can use that term, situation. How did you guys able to, to and of course, be you being executive uh, producer, you know, meld in so many great different storylines? So like I said, it seems like everybody is looking in that mirror at themselves and not sure what they're seeing. Yeah, yes, I think that's true. I mean, Brad Simpson is the creator of the show, and there's a great writer's room full of writers. And this season was very much about confronting, you know, I mean, our show's always about dealing with trauma and moving forward. And the season's about kind of confronting your past and finding your, your place, finding your home um, while carrying all that with you. Like, what does healing look like? And so all of these characters have been through so much, and we've earned a season where they all have their own... Um, really full and complete story arcs about uh, about what you just said, kind of facing them, facing themselves, the reality of themselves. But I feel like also the thing that people are trying to grasp on is somehow learn to love yourself and love your land, love your home, I should say. Love yourself yes. and love your home. Yes, I think that's completely true. And what does it mean? What does it mean to do that? What does it take for us to do that? to kind of either forgive ourselves, forgive other people, make amends for damage that we've done, um, to believe in ourselves, believe in our futures, um, find and shape the roles that we, that we have in society so that they're most aligned with, with who we are so that we can, we can live in our, our homes. What was it like filming during uh, this pandemic? I mean, it was challenging. I'm sure you've spoken to some other people about this too. It's been, it was a tough season uh, to shoot. I mean, we took a lot of precautions, obviously. Um, face masks, face shields, distance, different pods within set. Food was eaten in a totally different way, mostly uh, very independently. Um, very few extras uh, or background performers the scenes are a little more like sparse that way. Um, and it, and it was tough. I mean, it's hard to work with people who you've known for years and not be able to see their faces. And it's just a little bit more challenging to connect with each other, but, but we had a lot of fun in the end. And I think we created a good season of television despite the challenges. Could I say that what you just said, I'd never even noticed. It just looked like things were just going on the way they always have been so congratulations on yourself the production crew and all the actors uh who are involved with this it looks amazing what a feel and just from this first episode of this new season what a roller coaster ride you just don't know what's going to happen next and i think that's amazing what are you hoping that folks will get from this new season Gosh, so many things I hope they get from the season. I, I hope that, you know, all the moms out there feel seen, um, <laughs> that their struggles are are portrayed with honesty or one aspect of their struggles portrayed with honesty. I hope that, you know, young people can see other young people thriving and doing a great job at what they do. I mean, Luna and Taylor both are excellent at, at their careers. I hope that people can, can again, it's another step in this journey of, of burden, which is like, how do you heal? And I hope that it helps people to look at how they can heal and how they can embrace their, their own homes, um, which are at first and foremost in your own bodies um, and then on the land on which you live. One other thing I want to add in before we wrap this up too, I love the way that you guys have blended in um, diversity in so many different ways. And I'm not just talk, talking about color, but I'm talking about preference. Every single way that you guys have done that, I thought was amazing too. And also the classes um, and how, how there was conflict, but also people trying to work together. I thought that was amazing how you guys did that. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, when does the episode begin? When does the new season begin? January 28th at 8 p.m. on CBC or CBC Gem. Looking so forward to seeing this. Congratulations on this uh, on the uh, season. Congratulations on the series and how it's grown so much. Cannot wait to see everything that's going to happen on that because back when I got to the end, I was just like, it's, it's over? No, 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 no. I need to know what else is going on here. It's okay. great. 
Thank you so much for doing this interview with me. Looking forward, like I said, to the new season and crossing fingers that hopefully before uh, the end of 2021, when we talk about the next season, it'll be in person. Thank you so much for the interview. Awesome. Thank you. Have a great day. Burden of Truth, new season, January 28th on CBC and CBC Gen. 